Hii clip nataka special dedication to the vice president. Mia I love you so much because I know the God who chose Ruto to be a chosen vessel. You are in that plan. Ni asante sana sababu ya mke wako, Pastor Dokas. Pale mnanisikia. When Ruto was Dr. our president was the deputy president of Kenya. Last year 25th April I came to Karen where now is your resident home. Ngashagwa our dear deputy president. I came there. Now your boss, who is our president, the chosen vessel, he received me. I had no appointment. He received me. When he had that as a man of God, who has walked with his family on foot from where I am standing to State House, it is almost 160 kilometers. My last born was now then, last year, 13 years. Now he's in for one is 14 years because it was last year. Your boss, our president, the chosen person, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, received me. After he received me, I told him what God had told me about him. And I told him, God told me, you will be the president of this nation. And don't worry, and don't fear. That time, it seemed like an impossible declaration. Because you know what the deep state, you know what the former predecessor, Uru Munge Kinyata, Vile Mambo Ilikuwa. You remember that is the time somebody like, 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 like the CS Matiang interior, he could come out openly and make things utterance which he's not supposed to make. And he was saying that I'll protect the words of Raila Molodinga. And then it was it was like now, kama huyu atalinda ndiye mtu ambaye anaangaliwa na taifa zima anasema sasa security italekezwa kwa mtu mmoja na wengine watafanya nini. You know how awkward was the situation. My good deputy president Apo nikingoja kuonana tarehe 25 mwezi wa 4 nikingoja nikingoja kuonana na the deputy president Mr. Kashagwa my deputy president tulikuwa pale waiting tulikuwa watu wengi hata kina Sholei walikuwa pale kina Dindi Nyoro tulikuwa mampi wengi sana Morukomeni akakuja na nyote zote tulisalimiana zote nikulikusalimia ukaniambia oh maana historia yangu ilikuwa imeenea kila mahali na kila mtu alikuwa anambia aposo tuombe sana endelea kutuombea sana na kuomba njambo moja peke yake god who has started good work in this nation himself will accomplish his purpose. Don't be overtaken by what the enemy is doing. Let these people not provoke you to cause you to, to be to be like 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 irritated because you see wakati mtu amekuwa irritated na saa ni ukweli ukikumbuka vile mtu alikufanyia unyama alikuwa anataka hivi you will feel bad i know your feelings but i'm calling upon you as a man of god from today if you choose this to be a good advice there is something that dr william samuel ruto asked me after i told you the message i told him what god had told me he asked me just and what can you and advise me nini after all this nini unaweza kunishauri ama neno gani unaweza kuniambia sasa kunishauri kama kama mtu wa Mungu i told him this don't abuse don't speak bad words reckless words don't abuse your boss who was former retired president uru kinyata i'm happy even if people say that Dr. William Rosawiru tuziame tukana nini wakati wa election 
Hakuna siku Dr. William Samuel Ruto aliwahi tukana Uhuru Kenyatta. He could just but tell him, him the truth. Angemweta mbosi yangu, niachie mbosi yangu. Hata kama unipi kura yako, tafadhali akiwacha mbosi alikuwa aliweka hiyo. And I'm happy to me he took that counsel. A kingdom is established by many good counselors. So, my deputy president, nina kuuliza, whatever they did to you, whatever they did to even your friends, the former regime, even you, you will need people or even call to forgive you another day. Just forgive them and then leave them in the hands of God. Do your work. Be focused in bringing back the integrity of the nation. When they abuse you, when they talk bad about you, when they call you names, they have called you so many names. I have heard them. But those names, I had another one saying, it was, it is, it is, unajua, iki kikuni chasimio, hii mbegu ya madharao ni minge kwa ninaelewa. Deputy President naongea na wewe. Ukiwa na mama wa nini mama Dorcas. Nisikie mwingine akisema man was created in the image of God. Lakini niambieni mkiangalia vizuri Kashagwa wanakuita Kashesa Kashagwa kweli aliumbwa in the likeness of God. Deputy President listen to me as a man of God. I Loud this loud, ninaweka hii sauti kabisa isikike naongea Kiswahili ndio wale sio watu wanajua Kiingereza Ninasema hivi you are fearfully and wonderfully made So our deputy president they wrong to you wale kuumiza ninaomba utoke sasa shift from there by the grace of God, just yani, let the grace of God carry you and then be like be like this. Bible says, Yesu alipuangalia ile furai likuwa mbele yake. Alipuusa madharao. So, alipuusa madharao. Alipo kuwa naangalia ile ushindi kwa mbele yake. Our deputy president. I came to the city president akiwa deputy kama wewe. Nina kuomba kwa moyo wangu. Oh what they did to you from Uru Kinyata na wale wengine kina Matiang from your heart even take time go and kneel down somewhere. Na ukisikia kupiga magoti peke yako itamboa kidogo you can call me. I can kneel 24/7. For many days, we come. And if you can do it alone, you can go ahead or with your wife. Kiona it necessary. Kiyale maneno na kwambia. This is very, ito kusaidia sana. Usirusu. Wanacho, unajua ukiachilia kile chote adu ya naongea. Kiingia kwa moyo wako. Kita kuumisa. Utakuwa na blood pressure. Utakuwa, yani utakuwa, yani your days will be shortened. And they will make you unakuta maana asira mwanadamu atendi yake ya Mungu kute unaweza kusikia vibaya wameniita hivi wameniita hivi na wewe unaachilia ukiachilia unakuta umeongea kitu ambacho ungesaili kuongea and remember you are the second in command waongee wasiongee you are the second in command today deputy president gashagwa <coughs> Mimi nilitoka hapa nikiwa na ujumbe wa uchaguzi. Show yangu ilichukua three weeks ikiwa vairo. Ilikuwa naitwa muhubiri ambaye amechukua bibi yake na watoto. Maana tulikuwa ukienda kwa channel yangu Apostle Nicholas Mongela utaona tulikuwa tumejifunga bendera za Kenya tunabeba mbana na tunakuja nikiwa naenda kwa Uhuru Kinyata na wale nilipaswa kuwaweka. Amini kuwaona and kawaonya na nikamwambia Ruto will be the president and it has come to pass so what am i saying my deputy president let it go 
let God have his way. When we forgive others, he will forgive us. Wewe ngangana kuwa na amani na mungu, he will turn your enemies to be your friend. You are a man of substance. Hata kama ulienda one time kwa mbunge. Si waone hata wao ni ni it's a miracle. That you are the second in command. Usibishane na wao. Mimi wahubiri walikuwa wanajaribu kusema huyo mhubiri anatembea miguu, anaenda akisema kuna ujumbe wa uchaguzi, atiruto ndiye atashinda, atiruto ndiye chosa universal. I'm the one who called Dr. William Samuel Ruto the chosa universal. On 23rd July last year and I told people go and vote that man you vote Ruto in you vote the will of God ukienda kwa Facebook kwa YouTube utakuta hiyo kitu iko pale mitandao yote station silikuwa zinatangaza hiyo kitu I said you vote Ruto you vote the will of God when I was saying that I was I was also talking about you because you are the second in command so what am I saying let it go let God have his way be firm do your work madharau yoyote isisimame mbele yako lakini sio kila kitu nimesema hivyo wakitumia matusi usitumie wakikasirika wakiongee usikasirike just kuwa kama mbosi yako saa zingine ruto ananifurahisha sana anashindia anaita kila mtu my friend hata wale maadui hata i think ruto ako na character nyingine ilikuwa ako na the character developing in him ilikuwa ndani ya Yesu. Character iko ndani ya Yesu ina iko hivi. Judas alipoenda kumsaliti, alimwambia aje, alimwita jima, alipokuwa anakuja kumsaliti, alimuuliza, "My friends, unakuja kuni mbusu?" Yaani unanisaliti kwa njia kuni mbusu. Imagine unaita msaliti wako my friends. I think your character iko na boss yako ni nzuri. So nasema aje, let it go. You are the second in command. Focus 2027 inakuja 2032 inakuja na mambo kama yale That is my advice for now Sio kila kitu hata wakisema nini wataongea wachoke kwanza the more unawarudisha the more utawarudishia ndio wanapata chance ya ya, ya, ya kuchaja yani ignore them Don't be ignorant but ignore them Just ignore them Pusa some things not everything every evil wame predict kwako as a man of god because i know kenya kwanza government came from god hiyo evil yote isitimie kwako that is my prayer and not only you but all the other people who are praying and wish the government to start to start mama drokas when the uwe na kikundi very strong ya kuomba na kuomba na kuomba maana chochoto ukipata kwa maombi kitamalizia kwa maombi so mimi nasema hivi kenyans msitishiwe na kuambiwa unajua nimesema mtu kama huyu ndugu yangu nini kalozo mimi hata ni sitai 